Hey guys, it's Brendan here from the OnSong team. In today's tutorial, we will be reviewing how to convert your content, set up a Dropbox account, and also convert all of the songs that you have in Word into the OnSong file format. We get asked a lot of questions about this, so I'll basically be starting from scratch, just to kind of show you guys the ins and outs of the program. Let's take a look. The first thing we will need to do is set up a Dropbox account if you don't already have one. The basic 2GIG account is free. And if you want to go pro, you can pay a monthly fee or a yearly fee and have up to 100 gig. Install the Dropbox program onto your computer and also onto your iPad or your iPhone. This is so we can save the text files in there and access them directly from OnSong. Now let's open up a typical chord chart in Word. Now what you want to do is change all of the text to Courier. Then we're going to save this file as a plain text document. To do this, click File, Save As, and then change the format to plain text. Now OnSong will be able to recognize the format. Now let's save this to our Dropbox on our computer. To do this, just drag the file you want to your Dropbox folder on your desktop, like this. After we do that, let's open up the OnSong application. Tap on All Songs, then tap the plus button at the bottom of the screen, and then tap Dropbox. Sign into your Dropbox application account. It will then prompt you if you want to allow OnSong to access your Dropbox. Always tap Allow. Now you should see the song you just uploaded to your Dropbox account appear in your songs. Great! Now that we have that, let's learn how to edit your songs on your computer to make the most out of the features in OnSong. Meta tags are a way to provide information about a song, and it is expressed in a metadata section. Metadata is normally expressed in the first section of the song, before the first blank line, or until no more meta tags are encountered. I found that these are very easy and important to know the basics, so you can format the song correctly. Now let's set up some meta tags for this song on our computer. Always make sure your title is on the first line. And if you want to put the author of the song, put that on the second line, like this. Now let's create some sections by placing a space in between each section. Let's say this song is in the key of D. This is how we would write it. Key colon, and then D. Let's make a tempo for this song by writing tempo, colon, then whatever tempo it is. Let's say it's 120. Let's also set up the time signature for this song, which is the numeric beat over the bar. For instance, three-fourths would be this. Time, colon, and then three-fourths. After you do this, this is how it will appear on OnSong. To make the entire line bold, just put an asterisk in front of the line you want bolded. The forward slash at the beginning of the line will make the line italic. To achieve both bold and italic, 
put an exclamation point in front of the line, like this. To change a line to a certain color, just type ampersand and the color you want, and then colon. Let's say we want the line to be red. Now the whole line will be red. OnSong can also recognize HTML color codes as well. OnSong can also play songs under certain topics. For instance, if you want, you can put something under slow or perhaps even fast. To set up a topic, go to your OnSong under the Topics section and tap on the Topics tab on the bottom of the screen, and then the plus button. Then, add any topic you want. Let's put in slow for now. Back to your song on your computer. Let's say you would like to file this song under a particular topic. You would write topic, colon, and then what tags you want to file this under. Now, OnSong can pull it up whenever you look under the topic in OnSong. Let's take a look. A little hint that I found very helpful when editing your songs on your computer is not to do tabs to separate chords in songs. Just hit your spacebar to separate them. Now if by chance you've already done this, just go into your Word, click Find, and then Replace, and then hit the spacebar a few times, and then hit the tab a few times in the Replace to change it. When lining up chords with music, sometimes the reason the fonts get misaligned is due to using variable width fonts, which require many more spaces since they are narrower than standard characters, which is why we recommend you change your font to Courier, because it has the same width for all of the letters. To show an example of this, let's go into Word and write a few letters. Let's just make 10 letters for now. Now let's hit the spacebar 10 times. As you can see, the single spaces don't even cover half the letters. I want to show you guys another really cool feature that OnSong does. Let's open a song again and import it into the Dropbox. And then into OnSong. Now let's say we want to do some major edits on the song, but want to do it on a computer. Let's go back to your text document on your computer and fix any issues that you may have wanted to change. After we are done, let's add it back to the Dropbox. Now, if we go back to OnSong and tap Dropbox, you will see the song is gray, indicating we've already imported the song. Tap it, and then hit Import. OnSong updates the file with all the changes you made without doubling the song in your library. So I hope this video tutorial has helped you guys. Stay tuned for more video tutorials and product reviews. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at support at onsongapp.com. Thanks guys, see ya.